Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about robotic framework first test case, how we can able to create for first test case. Okay. In my previous video, we learn about how to install and introduction everything for my previous two videos. Okay can go through that and you can able to set up for environment and everything then once you set up and everything is done you can able to come to that particular project okay create for project place right click and new directory that is demo ui i am creating for directory like that okay and here you can able to create one robot file and file new click on right, right click on directory new file and here you can able to i'm going to give for tc01 dot robot click install now our robot file is ready right now okay moreover here there are couple of or uh, inbuilt sections are presented that is star 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 settings okay first one is this one and star 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 variables you can able to use the star, star three stars and space and you can able to specify test case and event task star star keywords this is inbuilt of four different tasks are presented okay and even you can able to use star stars tasks also it is presented but it is a very rare case we are using for tasks okay and moreover we are using for this particular four sections okay settings variables test cases and keywords okay and settings what exactly we are going to define for settings locations settings locations we are going to importing for selenium libraries and robot libraries and any different kind of libraries which we are using and no normal programmings like java selenium uh, python like java and c sharp when you are using for those programming languages with the selenium then we are using for import sections libraries right there are selenium libraries we are importing and in build of python libraries also we are importing right for that we are using the same places like settings we are going to use for some libraries okay that it will be used for library and single step selenium selenium library okay this is a library we are importing into a settings place and variables that i will come to that list but whenever like uh you want to use reuse into your all the places that moment you are going to use for this particular variables otherwise you can able to leave it if you don't have means the test cases means we are going to create for some test cases steps into this particular location okay and the keywords is basically we are using for some keywords user defined keywords or inbuilt keywords that those things we are going to using for keywords into the particular location okay now we can able to go for test case places and now i used for settings place one is settings place a library installation is done then i'm going to use for tc01 test case this is my test case name then i am going to use some space single tab open browser open browser and then i am going to use it here google.com i'll use for google.com here
just I'm going to use for this google.com URL and then single tap and which browser I need to launch in my case is Chrome browser okay Chrome is the one I'm going to launching for my browser okay even you can able to use for some like uh, inbuilt if you don't have that uh, browser instance and all means you have to download for uh, Chrome library uh, exe that is we can able to go for selenium dev location first is that exe we need to download okay then only this uh, particular things are supports go to here come down browsers this browsers and go to each if you want to download firefox you can go for firefox uh, internet explorer safira opera and everything my guess i am going to right now in the chrome and you can able to go for latest version and which version right now you have stable version that particular version you can able to check go to here and go to your three dots click that and help and about chrome once you click this one you can able to see which version right now you have in the your system okay based upon that you can able to download your version click on this one and click on that exe which is the window version or mac version which version you want you can able to download first and extract that file into your local once you extract that one into your local okay once you extract then copy that into that extracted chrome driver and copy downloads to here the script location in python location which we are set up in the python and script location right the script location come to there like you have to copy paste okay then you can able to use for directly here otherwise you have to create uh, that exe driver creation exe driver creation how we can able to give means create web driver and we can able to use for chrome and then executable path iphone path and we need to specify for that path location where the file location is presented this is a lengthy right we need to create that path and everything and if you mistake something then again it will fail like that it's a lengthy concept to do that without creating a executable path and everything we can able to directly specify that ex into here then you can able to use this url directly and browser okay then we can able to enter some values once it is loaded the page come to here then now you can able to see here google.com and we launched google.com then you can able to inspect this location name equal to q correct and go to here and you can able to use input text name dot colons q and some text is i'm going to do for low case is the text i'm going to do it okay this is our test case to do it and again i'm going to use for search clicking search input and you can able to btn click button and you can able to specify name colon this one okay 
now this is my case and after that i need to wait something for that i'm going to use sleep two seconds then i'm going to use for close browser okay this is my simple test case once i done this one just i'm going to use it my terminal in this terminal i'm going to use for how to run that uh, program in terminal means a robot a space we need to give for demo ui slash i'm going to use for tc01 dot robot test case this is my test case running right now you can able to see my test case is running it is enter some value and it search the value okay and after waiting for two seconds it will close my test case okay now this is a one case and second one is how we can able to create for variables now here i used for open browser right now i'm going to use for here dollar curly brace and i'm going to use for url again curly brace i'm going to use for double slash and here i'm going to use that one and dollar brace browser name curly brace i'm going to use for chrome okay these are names i used now i'm going to use for this particular two names into this particular two places Now again this browser name. Okay. Now this is a one kind of variable setups. Okay. In this case also it will work out for the same format. If you run this program again, you can able to see same result. Now same result. It is displaying the same format right now how we can able to define for keywords keywords nothing but i am doing for some operations here right these two operations i'm going to create here enter values field is the one i'm going to define here and i'm just i'm going to make it for these two things and just that keyword i'm going to importing here this is my keyword and the same format how it is working the same format it will work out this is a keyword creation this is a default like inbuilt of uh, built-in uh, methods using right thus inbuilt methods we are using to entering the values and all okay and the later section we can able to create our own how user defined uh, things we can able to create like that this is the use uh, like predefined keywords which we are using okay this is a one format of keywords using this are all the four sessions how we can able to utilize those things and also we can able to see there are set of reports if you open this url into your browser go to your browser and here you can able to enter now now you can able to see all the test case steps and all and if you use any tag any use shoot levels and anything you can able to see the test case and which is a test case if you click the test case and information for the logs one by one what are the keywords you used what are the browsers you used and everything you can able to see here step by step okay closing browser and sleep method uh, entering value what are the things you enter and uh, one by one how we can able to utilize that sign in library uh, click method text box method and those things you can able to see the logs on here okay 
this is all about how to create for test case and uh, as well as our four sections how we can able to utilize our, about that i hope you understand this video if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to make the comments if you give the comment then only i can able to make for more videos and with the quality of that content thank you